Would you like to give your dashboard a website-like feel and look with the drop-down menu items? If so, this tutorial is for you, where we are going to learn how to create drop-down menu items in Tableau. So without any further delays, let's jump straight into it. Welcome back, this is Gurpreet from DataWiz Canvas and today we are going to learn about how to create drop-down menu items in Tableau. So in this particular session, I'll be using these drop-down menu items as a part of filtering the data, but you can use the same logic to create menu items, drop-down menu items for navigation purposes as well. So as you can see in this dashboard, I have created a drop-down menu item. When you click on this particular icon, you will see the drop-down menu appears with the different values for region filtration purposes. So in this case, by default, it was selecting central region. But if I go and select north, all the data in the dashboard has changed according to the menu item selections. So I have used this for filtering the data set. As I mentioned earlier, you can use the same logic to create a navigation button like this in the menu item to go to a different navigation page. I will be putting the link of this particular dashboard in the description below so you can refer to this dashboard, download it and play around with it. So now let's see how we can create this dashboard in Tableau. So first of all, we will connect to sample Superstore data dataset or you can use any other data set which you have for this purposes. So first of all, we will create a drop-down button sheet. So we will just change the name of the sheet to drop-down button. And for this purpose, we'll be using different shapes, which I have already created, like this one, the button shape. You can download it from online or you can create it your own one in Figma or Illustrator or Photoshop. So I have created these two buttons here. Um, one is for showing the drop-down menu item and one is for showing the actual value. So you can see this black arrow is changing in both of these ones, right? So we'll be using that and I have already saved these button values in our shapes, um, which is under Tableau repository shapes. So I have saved these values. So we'll be using these two shapes while designing the drop-down menu item. So first of all, we need to create a drop-down button sheet. And here we'll be creating a parameter so we can give a name switch parameter and this parameter is having a data type as a boolean which will be true and false value so once that is created we need to create another calculation which we can give the name switch calc and this particular value will have the switch parameter value which is true and false so once we have created this, we will change the mark type to shapes and we will bring the switch calculation which we created to shape. And here we will first of all change the view to entire view and we will go to shape and select the shape value from your shapes palette. And if you have just saved the value in that folder, you have to click on reload shape. So it reloads all the values which you have saved recently. So I will go to the buttons one and I will create this value as true. And I will select that. You will see here the value will change. And once I do that, you will see it looks like this. Right. And I will also bring the switch parameter and show it as show parameter. So this is the value for true. And once I go to the false value, let's change the shape for false value as well. And I will go here and select button and change the value of false to this one. And you will see for true and false, we got different shapes. So once we have created this one, we will create another sheet as drop down list. So in this particular value, first of all, we need to create a parameter a region. So let's create a parameter, which is called region. And for this, we will be using a string value and we need to show the list. And in this, I will pick up the value from the existing data set field or dimension, which is region. Once I click on that, 
all my region values are automatically added in the list of values. So I will click OK. And once we do that, we will create a calculated field for region filter. Region calc. And in this one, we are saying region dimension equal to region parameter which we created. And again, this is a Boolean result, the outcome of this one. So we will simply click OK. So we have created these two calculations. And once we have done that, we will need to create another calculation, which we will give the name switch opposite. So what it does is, it is we are saying, we want the opposite value of the switch parameter. So in this case, the switch parameter, whatever value we have there, it this calculation will give us the opposite value of that. So for example, if the switch parameter value is true, the outcome of this one will be false. So this one we'll be using with parameter actions to toggle between true and false value in the switch parameter, so which I will show you once we work on the action parameters. Once we have done that, we will bring region to the row shelf and we'll bring region calculation to color mark and we'll bring region to text mark as well. And we'll create a placeholder field by just entering one and you will see a bar is created for these ones. And we'll go to label and we'll do a formatting bit for alignment. We will bring it onto the left hand side. And then we will just do the editing. We will hide the headers. Actually, before that, we will just edit the axis. And in the edit axis, we will make it a fixed axis and keep it from 0 to 1. And then we will hide the uh, headers on the bottom and also on the left hand side and we will keep it as an entire view and we need to bring the filter for our calculation which we created the switch calculation and we want to show the false value here so whenever we change the switch parameter value so if i show you here show parameter it is false so on the false, we want to see this. And when it is true, we want it to be blank. So that's why we kept it that way. In the filter section, we will just change this value based on the action parameter. And also we need this value, which we created for switch opposite, which is, let's check it here, calculation. So we created the value for switch opposite right which i guess it's gone somewhere so let's create it again so create a calculated field of switch opposite i guess i didn't saved it previously and here i will just use not and i will use at the rate switch parameter and i will bring this value into the tail mark as well so we will update this value based on the action parameter so when we click on a particular sheet, so we will change the value from false to true. And once it's true, this sheet will be blank. So that's why we need to bring this field into the detail mark. So once we have this there, we now need to create a last sheet, which is actually not the last one, second last one, which is drop down blank so i will change the name to drop down blank and in this case we will simply bring our switch opposite and our switch calculation into the tail mark and i will simply use one again our placeholder value and i will change it to shapes and I want the shape of square and I will hide the header here and I will keep it entire view and in the formatting I will remove all the grid lines and all the pane lines which we don't need it here 
and I will go to this one. We don't need zero lines. So just remove all these lines. We'll be using this sheet on top of another sheet for our parameter actions. So I will show you in a second and increase the size to maximum. So once we have done that one, we will simply create our bar chart or any sort of chart. In this case, I will be using bar chart. I will go to product and I will bring the categories to column shell and I will bring the sales and I will show the bar chart. And actually, I don't need product name, I need categories. So I will bring the categories and subcategories and I want to show it this way and I will keep it the entire view. So once we have done that, now let's, so this is our sales by category. Now let's go to the dashboard and we give the name drop down menu. So here, what we will do, we will simply bring our sales by category field. So I will bring it by dragging it here as a floating container. I will make it bigger. I want to hide the title and then I will bring the text and I will give the name here drop down menu and I will increase the size let's keep it 20 and let's keep it on the white side and make it bold and make it bigger and I will give the background to this one as black. So change the background color to black. Or you can use any color. So in the buttons which I'm using, I'm creating it on the black side as you can see it here. So I will use the same thing, black, uh, black banner. And on top of that, I will put the buttons here. So let's go back and then I will drag the drop down button sheet and I will remove all these values and this is my drop down button and I will put it on the top and you will see here the size is really small and the other thing in the formatting I don't want the background right so background I have removed it and we go back here and increase the size somewhere around this one and you will see it is coming really nicely. So let's reduce it a little bit more. And now it will fit nicely here. So you can see here it's fitting really nicely. Now we need to bring another text object. And here we will simply go and insert the parameter for the region. And again, we will change the size and we keep it black and bold and keep it okay. And this one, we will bring it on top of our button. And we will keep it like this. It looks nice. Now after that, we will bring the drop down list and we put it just below that one. And we have to remove all these legends and other things and remove the title as well. And then bring it down here just align the dimensions as per the button at the top because when we click on that we want this to appear right and so it looks pretty good we can align it a little bit more in the center and once this is done you can see it here all of these three values of the region are appearing here now after that we bring the drop down blank sheet and we have to put it at the top of our central region. Put it here on top of it and we align it so it looks it sits within the button and once this is done we just format it and we want to remove the background color. So this is at the top. So once all of these are done let's let's go back to our sales by category and in this one we need to bring our region filter calculation and we need to show it as true value okay so you will see here 
if I bring our region parameter, you will see the central is currently selected and that way it will change. So we want to change this parameter value when we collect, select these ones, right? So right now, north has selected, right, in this case, but in here, it's a different parameter value. So when we click on this one, we want this value to change. So for that, we need to create a parameter actions. So now that's the time to do the magic. So go to dashboard, go to actions, and create a new parameter action. And let's give it a name, select region. And for this one, we need to only select the drop down list. And in the parameter, we need to select region parameter. And in the field, we need to select the region samples, region from the sample store, the superstore data set. We simply click OK. And then we need to create another parameter action. So this one, let's give the name um, toggle, toggle between sheets or change toggle. And in this, we need two sheets, the drop down blank and the drop down list sheet. So for this, we are changing the switch parameter. So the parameter which we just showed earlier, which had true and false value. So we are changing that and based on the switch opposite value which we have created. So let me click OK and show you. So where we were looking at the drop down list. So this value we are changing. So right now it's at false. If we change it to true, it will hide everything, right? And we are changing this value based on the switch opposite. So that's why we used it in the parameter action. So now this is done. Let's try if it is working. We click on south and you will see we are changing, but this is not hiding. So something is not right. So let's see what is not working. So let's go back to the drop down list and we check here based on these values, it is disappearing here. So it seems like something is not right with the parameter action. So let's go back to parameter actions and we look at the change toggle parameter. And here you go, we haven't selected the drop down list, which was the issue. So once we select OK, let's try it again. So when we select South, yeah, so it disappeared. And if you want to change it again, you select that one, select Central, the values are changing. So that's the way you can create menu items in Tableau in the form of the way you look in the website. So you can use the same logic to create drop-down menu items for navigation between the sheets or between the dashboards as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this session and if you have any questions, please feel free to drop the comment in the section below and hope to see you guys in the next session. Thank you. Bye.